today we will be fixing the bumper on my S2000. It is not aligned on there properly. I'm just gonna try and see if I can get it on there as best as I can. And I will show you guys how that looks like right now. I mean, this side is okay. It's not the best. There's still a mean old gap in between there. And then same thing was over here. It's just really bad. The headlights plopped in. All right, so I'm gonna start by actually jacking up the car and uh, getting more clearance to work with. Cause right now, it's, you can see it's sitting a little too low for me. I'm a tall guy, so. Yeah. Dude, come check what I bought at the store today. It was in the collectibles section for Xbox One for 12 bucks. Desert Industries. Wait, are you serious? I'm gonna play hey, some Lego Star Wars later. Yeah, that's literally exactly why I bought it. There's a scene that's dope. We can all play. Not a bunch of junk. Got my tools. Feels nice out here. You get this a little higher for the jack stand to fit under there. Are you there? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Nice. Now look at the other side. Alright, we're gonna begin by taking off these five screws with a flathead. There's one. Ooh, two. Next step is to remove the 10 millimeter bolts that are hidden right up under here. Today, Junior, is it out yet? Now we jump onto the other side, do the same thing. All right, for whatever reason, we got like a, was it 10 mil on one side? Yeah, I got 10 mil on the other side, and we're gonna try an eight and see if it fits on this side. Yep, that one's, that's the money, money shot. All right, so now we got those taken off, and now we're just gonna try and take off the bumper as carefully as possible. about drop my bumper so now that the bumper's off i can do my little adjustments to the headlight and make sure it aligns really well all right there goes the headlight now luckily i have two people here with me Hold that. Okay. Yeah. We got this. So I'm having some trouble trying to align my headlight. 
when I first bought the car, I actually actually got into a little accident. Oh, dude, that's solid, dude. Yeah, comment down below if you want to see those builds. So my little clips for the front right here, right here. Uh, one's a little bent, as you can see from the accident. So I'm gonna try and bend it back to shape with some pliers. What you doing right here? We're here we're trying to tighten this bolt down, but it looks like it's just spinning. Spinning like a GTR on E85. Steroids. Wheel. I'm going to, with the help of my buddy, throw the bumper back on. We just put the, bump, uh, the bumper on. We still need to put this side on. But for the most part, all the lines are matching up really well. Hey guys, as you can see, it's a new day. Unfortunately, my camera died last night and it was getting a little dark. So I wasn't able to capture the rest of the bumper being put on. So we put the bumper back on. All the lines seem to match up really well, except for the passenger side. I'll show you guys here in a second. But for the most part, it looks way better than how it did before. I remember this, oh, it's, it's still, no. It is better than before, but for the most part, it's still noticeable and it's not okay. This side, for example, lines match up real well. We don't have that gap in here anymore. The lines match up really well in the hood as well. As you guys noticed in the video, as I was taking off all the screws for the front bumper, uh, I didn't take any out of the bottom because when I installed the lip, it kind of blocked most of the holes. I pretty much didn't put anything back on. I just left it how it was. So in my case, I didn't need to take anything out from the bottom. That's why I didn't show it in the video. But yes, without the lip, I'm able to screw in the bumper. All right, well, that's gonna wrap things up for today's video. As you can see, all I was trying to do is make my front bumper have better fitment. I tried my best to do it. It's still cranking a little bit, but I will work on that later in the future. But yeah, until then, I will see you guys on the next video.